Okay, today is 24th of August 2025 and the first prototype constellation has already successfully completed its 15th flight. So looking at the plane, testing it extensively brings us to today in our club on a lovely beautiful sunny day preparing for our third flight for today well i've been flying this plane in many different weather conditions even the first maiden flight was a bit under the rain but finally we could succeed and let's take a moment to remember the very beginning the maiden flight preparations the assembly and those the first taxi runs out on the field she was standing on her wheels for the very first time at the runaway entrance and most of my club mates were there sharing the excitement with me. The first checks went well and soon she was rolling on the grass for the first time. For me, taxiing is always a special step. It's where you build the confidence to go ahead with the maiden. If you don't feel that confidence on the day, it's probably not the right time to fly. But on that day, I knew it was a day. I think I will fly it. Just do it. But uh, someone, please, <laughs> also yeah. record. The maiden flight was a real learning curve. I'm used to flying rovers, and I know with them the takeoffs and landings are always tricky. Once a born, they fly beautifully. And with the Kuni, I know the thin wings would need speed to lift off especially from our grass runaway. On that first takeoff, I pushed the throttle gradually, but even near the end of the runaway, she was struggling to leave the ground, reaching full throttle. My flight buddy Gert even shouted, abort. At that moment, the nose lifted slightly. I almost cut the power, but instead I went oh. full throttle. And just at the last meters, she got airborne with the wheels almost brushing the grass at the end. It was intense, exciting, and of course, a little bit lucky, which you always need. And about the flight experience with the Koenig, one of the most memorable flights was in the Netherlands during a show with very strong winds, gusty ones, up to 45 km per hour. It was, in fact, very risky. But that was the moment and that was also part of my extensive testing and I decided to fly. Takeoff in the crosswind went fine, but the real challenge came when turning with the wind behind me. The Kony was simply drifted and my really scale power wasn't enough to turn. I tried applying some rudder, no effect. Then Rudder. Well, okay, I have some effect. The plane finally started turning, but the nose was dropping. I had to balance with the elevator and the ailerons in the opposite direction just to keep the control. It was a tricky, almost counterintuitive maneuver, but it taught me a lot. Now I actually enjoy using this technique, it makes the Kony feel alive in the air. I still need to fine-tune the ailerons with some differential to reduce the drag and make turns smoother, but this experience showed me how much you can learn when the conditions push you to the edge. And I had few harsh landings. Okay, I just continue back. Well, what I was saying, yeah, completing the 15 flight in different landing conditions, few of them harsh, I would say the two meter, 30 centimeter wingspan Kony, it's still very strong. Well, for the next, indeed, there will be some updates, especially focusing on some of the aesthetics and some of the ease of building. But nevertheless, the plane has proven 
herself that it's flying aerodynamically almost close to perfect and I don't need to do any modification on the plane itself and flying the Kony has now become almost intuitive managing her in the air feels natural and truly rewarding so again if I would operate on the control surfaces for this time the motors are not armed the flaps two stage split flaps of course the original has the extended flaps but for ease of designing and producing I just put uh, split flaps and actually you can see very little beautification here with just two stripes of tapes and I cut the TVA also from a 50 millimeter tape and using the electric insulation tapes on the tail to just bit to just give the bit of flavor of uh, painting I would say because flying a plain white plane was not so fantastic and I painted also the windows the silver color with just a pen of course the, the next one will be perfectly painted and finished and I'm thinking of potentially again a TVA or this time a Lufthansa livery uh, on, on, its, on, its, on herself so again you can see also some details the insects sticking on the plane surface how dirty it is um, especially I will show you something very interesting if I look at this side all the props are actually rotating in the same direction like the original and you can see all the insects how they are collected with the prop on this surface here and here again on this cowl area again is full of insects and if, can I, if I look at the other side again it's the same thing the props are pushing all the insects, the flies, sticking on the beautiful pony. So the next one should definitely need to be painted and uh, polished uh, in a shiny condition because it's almost impossible to to clean up these these all these insects from the plane. Of course, being a prototype, that doesn't matter so much. As you can see, some of the poles are still not installed at all. But yeah. Uh, that's being said this is a beautiful prototype but now I'm actually enjoying her uh, on beach flight thank you very much for listening and for sharing this journey with me from the very first design to many flights we enjoyed together over the 15 flights I've been able to test and prove the structural integrity of my design extensively and I also confirmed that her aerodynamics are remarkably close to the real super constellation. This model was just a prototype, but it gives me the confidence to take the next step. Hopefully, I'll start building the next one towards this winter, this time with cosmetic updates and a polished livery, potentially from again TVA or Lufthansa. And for now, I'll be busy with some other projects. I have few exciting ideas in mind and I look forward to bringing them in life with the same passion and precision as the Super Connie. That's all from me now. Thank you again and see you next time. Goodbye.